This episode is sponsored by Native. Native deodorant makes you smell good and feel good even on the hottest summer days with their non-sticky, quick-drying, and simple formula. Get Native's clean and effective deodorant in their new and improved 100% plastic-free packaging that's earth-friendly and recyclable. Use code BABISH3 to get three deodorants for $24 and 25% off any body wash or toothpaste through the link in the video description. So this week on Basics, it's actually late at night and I actually feel like making my actual late night, I don't care how many calories, I don't care what anybody thinks of me, pasta. It's pretty much just a quick burst cherry tomato sauce, which of course is loaded up with a positively irresponsible amount of butter, cheese, and other stuff. Now I did not pack my clothes apron, and while I just might be one man with a camera, I'm not going to run a sloppy ship. According to the internet, you can use a hair iron, which uh, kind of worked, but only for a little itty bit at a time. So as we so often do, we turn to Babish cookware. Get this nice and hot on the stove, spray the clothes with a little bit of water, and you can see why this really is the most versatile pan in the kitchen. Now that our creases have been decreased, and only about half an hour has passed, we can get down to making some pasta. Just real quick after we talk sanitation, the diluted bleach sani bucket is a great way to make sure that you keep your workstation and kitchen clean. The old restaurant I used to work at used one tablespoon of bleach per gallon of water, but I don't know if that's at all correct. Alright, apron's flat, station's clean, let's do some cooking. As you can see, the mise for this dish is pretty much just getting everything out of the fridge. Cherry tomatoes, fresh basil, fresh parsley, four cloves of garlic, two shallots, some parmesan, butter, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Also some fresh mozzarella cheese, not pictured here. Prep is pretty simple, we want a very finely mince our shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use any kind of oniony thing, like an onion. The garlic I'm slicing thinly as a direct reference to the 2014 film Chef. And the fresh herbs I'm mostly leaving whole. If you really want to, you can chop up your parsley beforehand, but hold off on chopping the basil until the very last minute so it doesn't bruise. So now it's time to head on over to the stovetop, where we've got the Babish clothes iron preheating. I'm gonna add a tablespoon or two of olive oil and begin sauteing our shallot for anywhere from one to three minutes, depending on how finely you chopped it. Once the shallot's looking nicely sweated, we're gonna add our thinly sliced garlic and optionally a few tablespoons of tomato paste, which can give your sauce a slower cooked, less fresh tomato flavor. Saute all that jazz together until an orange fun begins to form on the bottom of the pot. Add the cherry tomatoes and a little splash of water if anything's starting to burn and cook until burst, which depending on the willpower of your tomatoes can take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Once everybody has burst but most of the tomatoes are still retaining their shape, we can start cooking our pasta in some boiling water until it's about 2 minutes shy of al dente, at which point we're going to add it and a solid half cup of pasta cooking water to the pot to do maybe my favorite thing in the world, finishing cooking the pasta in the sauce. Add more pasta water as necessary, stir frequently frequently, and once the pasta is done, we're going to finish it with our fresh basil, a big old gob of butter, and a whole lot of shaved parmesan. Kill the heat and stir in your various fats, tasting for seasoning, adding kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper as necessary or desired, maybe give it another taste for good luck, because now we're going to turn things up to crazy, adding about a half pound of chopped fresh mozzarella. Cover it up and let it sit for two to three minutes until the mozzarella is looking melty. Then give everyone a rigorous stir, just enough to distribute the cheese amongst the pasta, but not enough to turn it into a giant molten mass. And what you are left with is a pasta that arrests all five of the senses. Gooey, cheesy, stretchy, saucy, buttery, all seven deadly sins at once kind of pasta. Finish it up with some more herbs and more cheese, why not? And with every bite, marvel at the horrible, wonderful thing that you've created. Make sure you use a squiggly kind of pasta like this so the cheese has something to grab onto. Make sure not to heat any of the cheese or butter directly on the stovetop, and hang on to your pants. Thanks again to Native for sponsoring this episode. Be prepared for wherever this summer takes you with Native's simple and effective deodorant, like my personal favorite, powder and cotton. Enjoy all-day odor protection thanks to their aluminum-free, paraben-free, vegan, and cruelty-free formula that is made with ingredients you know, like coconut oil and shea butter. Get three deodorants for $24 and 25% off any body wash or toothpaste by using code BABISH3 in the link in this video's description.